Okay, I'm out here in my messy garage, and this is what I have of <clears throat> of Umber's cage or of Umber's new cage so far. So I have uh, the wire on the top, the two sides, and then the front. And the back and the bottom don't have any. Um, <clears throat> But I will be putting plywood on the back and the bottom. And I was thinking, because if I put it underneath this, I mean, that's half an inch thick. And, and there'd be these things on the inside sticking out. But I figured I could just put the substrate in there. To, it would kind of hold it like a bowl. So that worked out. I'm just going to do the same thing for the back, just put it on the outside, instead of notching it out. But, I'll, I'll go ahead and open up the, I have two hinges, one there, and one there. And they're really good hinges. So, you just take these, open it up. And same thing over here. And then, nice hands. And then, it opens up like that. So that's a simple way for me to do it. Um, I could still make it top opening, but I don't really want to do that. I like it the front opening. I, could, I mean, I could just make the bottom right now the back, and then the back right now the bottom. So I'd just be flipping it like that. So then that would be the top opening, but I'm not going to do that. So that would be all confusing and I don't really like top opening things. I like to be able to reach down just directly in there and get them out. And I'm going to be having a ramp that's going to be blocking everything underneath it. So the front opening would be the best way. So, yep, that's what I have so far of Umber's new cage.